So happy you could be here. I am joined as always by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Evening Star Cafe and Planet Wine in the Del Rey neighborhood of Alexandria. You also have uh, what I believe is still the latest addition to the NRG, Shop Made in DC. That's in DuPont Circle. Check that out, that's cool. Uh, Greg, it is always great to see great you. Great to see you too. What is on tap this week as we launch into 2018? Our first beer of 2018 is a fresh hoppy IPA from one of the best local producers uh, of that style. This is Burley Oak out of Berlin, Maryland, and the beer itself is called Aboriginal Gangster. Ooh. Six and a half percent IPA. Mm. Brewed with some fittingly with some Southern Hemisphere hops, mm. um, primarily Motueka, which is a hop grown in New Zealand and, and in Australia, and even a little bit in Tasmania, I think, uh, that's known for being uh, very, very floral, uh, lemon-lime is the quality. It's mm -hmm. almost like mojito-esque. You even get it on the palate and in the nose. Uh, a little bit grassy, uh, delicate, but nuanced, delicious hop. And then also some Pacific Jade from the Southern Hemisphere that's kind of uh, peppery. I think it works especially well on this beer because this is a beer that Burley Oak has made for some time now. Um, it's not as hazy, juicy as many of their newer creations are. There's a little bit more bitterness to this, but it still has that gentle kind of delicate quality because the hops they're using are a little bit more restrained. Yeah, and the, the, if you like lemon cooler cookies, I think you'll really like to yeah, finish totally. on this. Yeah. That's what sort of absolutely. hit, hit That's me. A, yeah, absolutely. And it's crazy, too, because we think of hops more aromatically, but you're right. I mean, this is like lemon-lime zest on the palate. But not um, overpowering. No, no, no. Not, but, not but, but definitely there. sweet yeah. or anything too much like that. It's uh, delicious. You know, I know that you're a fan of Burley Oak. It's just there about a week and a half ago. Exactly. Uh, and uh, an amazing brewery that just keeps getting better and better and better and making so many different things. I mean, they recently expanded to, to make more and more funky beers. They're known obviously for hoppy beers. They, they do great fruited sours. They have this J Ream series that uh, people go nuts about. And obviously their cans are huge. Uh, once a month, and actually the next can release there is uh, Saturday the 13th of January, so coming up soon. They release four different limited runs of really unbelievable cans. People line up. Uh, it's, it's a big deal. Burley Oak is it's crazy, it's doing great stuff. Yeah, if you're if you're looking for resolutions for 2018 and you haven't been and you, and you can spare the, oh, yeah. the three hour drive out yeah. there, uh, you gotta go. It's great. There are it's lovely great people place. who work there and the beer is just never disappoints the two or three times I've been there. Um, what would you pair this with? So, uh, a great IPA, nice and hoppy, a little bit bitter, but not overwhelming. Six and a half percent alcohol. The lemon lime quality seemed to have suggested that it would be Perfect with Tex-Mex of all kinds, you know, fish tacos, shrimp enchiladas, um, burritos, you name it. It'd be great with a plain roasted chicken. Um, I also like it with um, some some lighter uh, pasta dishes like linguine with clam sauce. It'd be fantastic with that. Do you think we'll see more of their beers in the D.C. area uh, yes. as, as the years progress here in the next couple of years? Absolutely. What's cool, so they've been around since 2011. Uh, they got started distributing a bit in, in Maryland and DC, a little bit, I think even in, in, in Delaware. Um, small, you know, some kegs, some cans, and they're gonna keep it like that. You know, they're around for sure, but they're, but they're kind of rare stuff, the, the really crazy stuff that they release at the brewery. Um, they're, they're seeming to send out just a little bit more of that, which is great. So in addition to their classics like Bilsner, which is their Pilsner, or um, Sorry Chicky, which is their uh, sour blonde ale, you're going to start seeing things like this more and more and, um, and more of their double IPAs and such. So These guys are good at coming up with some uh, uh, interesting beer names too. Indeed. Uh, uh, yeah, I wish I lived across the street from Burley Oak. I wish I lived across the street from a lot of breweries, but this is definitely <laughs> one of them. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.